Welcome back YouTube. This is OK Mall and in today's guide we're going to be covering the three bailiffs, where they're located and how to gain access to their shops. So once you've made it to Bryn, take a look at the map. Look for the guild quarters. There's going to be the bottom left corner of this map here. That's the section we're going to be going. That's where all three bailiffs are located. So let's go ahead and make our way down there. The first bailiff up is in the carpentry's workshop. You'll be talking to Noel, which is this NPC right here. Keep listening. Usually I select option number one. Option number one. Again, it's just click on through his dialogue. And you'll notice he didn't give us a quest. And there's a reason for that. Before Noel will even consider giving us a task to then open up his inventory, we first have to talk to Burn, which is the NPC that gives us contracts in Bryn. And he's actually located in the old towers section of Bryn. So we're going to head over that way next. So this NPC here is Burn. So let's go ahead and engage in conversation. You'll notice that there's an option here. Listen, I need your help with something. Keep in mind, this dialogue option doesn't show up unless you've done one of two things. The first of which, if we go down here to reputation, is to reach benevolence level. That'll unlock the dialogue option. The second way to unlock the dialogue option is to complete Bryn contracts. I believe you only have to complete one Bryn contract and he'll also open up that dialogue option. In this case, we're benevolence level. Click on through. And there we go, we get a letter of recommendation. Once you have the letter of recommendation, talk to Noel again. Say, here's your letter from the quartermaster. Keep listening, keep listening. Doesn't matter what option you select here. Keep listening, keep listening. He will then give us a quest. Again, bribing the bailiff. And in this case, he wants a ruby. Finding a ruby is pretty simple. I'll show you exactly where to go. So to find a ruby, head to the jewelry shop next. Talk to this guy here. What are you selling? Boom, there's a ruby. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one up. It's expensive, but ultimately I have the gold. Not really worried about it. If you're hard up on cash, alternatively, you can steal his ruby and turn that one in instead. But keep in mind, you risk getting caught by the guards and either paying a hefty fine or going to jail. Personally, I don't mind spending the gold. I'd rather not deal with the guards. So now that we have a ruby, we can talk to Noel. Here's your ruby. So what about our agreement? Keep listening, farewell. Now that we've completed Noel's task, we'll come back in the evening. I'll show you exactly where to find him. All right, now that it's evening, we actually head inside of this building here. And then we head through this door and straight upstairs. Here he is. Engage a conversation with him and show us today's surplus gear. And there you have it. And now it's time to move on to the next bailiff. The next bailiff is located in the leather working workshop. And you're going to talk to this guy in blue. Just tell him you're a mercenary looking for some useful equipment. Click through his dialogue. Once you've made it to this stage in the conversation, if you already have the recommendation letter from Burn, you can select option number three, otherwise one and two. We're gonna do number three to start off with. Keep listening, keep listening. In this case, you're gonna be paying a thousand crowns. And here you go, it's gonna be a thousand crowns. Awesome. This time we'll select option number one. So now you notice he wants 2,000 crowns instead. So it is highly recommended to talk to Burn and get the recommendation letter first. We'll come back into the evening and I'll show you right where to find him. As soon as it's evening, return back to the leather working workshop and head inside. Then you're going to go upstairs. Once you're upstairs, you can now talk to him and have full access to his inventory. And this here is just some of the gear options he has available. Keep in mind, he does get more gear options later in the game once you've reached Amity and Bryn. All that's left now is to bribe the blacksmith's bailiff and we'll head over there next. The blacksmith's bailiff is actually located right here. Pick option number one. Keep listening, keep listening, keep listening, keep listening, keep listening, keep listening. Now again, we have two options to choose from. If we tell him we have a recommendation letter, his quest will be to find three bottles of elven ice wine. I'll show you just where you can go to get elven ice wine. If you head into the Golden Grain Inn, you can actually purchase a Elven Ice Wine from the innkeeper here. It is expensive. Right here it is. For 424 gold. So I don't recommend doing that, but it is an option. The second option is to head over to the trading house of the Azure Thread. Head inside. You can talk to him. Sometimes he has it for sale. And in this case, he has three bottles. I believe she also sells some on occasion. She does. So this can be much, much cheaper and they sell for 264. So much better option there. If you instead go with option number one, um, you'll notice that you have to find the required items. It's going to be a different quest. So load up your quest log. 
It says City of Gold and Corruption. And in this case, you'll want a golden candle broom, an ornate ink pot, as well as one bottle of elven ice wine. Now, which option you pick depends completely on you. If you happen to find any one of these items out in the dungeons, be mindful not to sell them and instead drop them to the ground. It can make doing these quests much, much quicker. But even if you don't, I'll show you where to find them. As before, I already showed you guys where to find the elven ice wine. But to find the ink pots and the golden candle broom, you're going to be heading over to the family's pawn shop located here in the old tower section of Bryn. We'll head on the inside, talk to him, see his wares, and we're going to purchase the ink pot as well as the golden candle broom. All of which are pretty expensive. As mentioned before, you can steal items and turn them into the bailiffs. They will accept them. So I'm actually going to test that out right now. So drop that candle and pick up the golden candle broom. So now this is stolen. My biggest issue with this is if the guards stop you randomly, you're either going to jail or paying a fine. So you're taking a risk. But uh, we're going to give it a shot. Now once you've acquired all the items that Guile has asked for, you can talk to him, but if you try to give them to him now, he will not take it. He wants you to come back later, which is fine. We'll head indoors. All right, it's now evening. We can head upstairs. Talk to Guile. Here's your wine and all the junk you asked for. Hand it over. Perfect. If you're okay with stealing items to save a little bit of cash while also risking being caught, that's entirely fine. Personally speaking, I just like to spend the cash and be done with it. But now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and talk to him and see what kind of inventory he has. What do you got? And even at Benevolence level, he actually has really, really good gear. Some of these are doing 25 damage, 26. As you can tell, they're expensive, but really good gear all around. And now that Guile's inventory is opened up to us, that marks all three bailiffs now completed. All right, y'all, that'll do it for today's video. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.